Hey there, true believers. Rain Kisaragi here with more Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Boy, I messed up my thing I was gonna do. It's gonna be Vampire Bloodlines, because bleh, bleh, vampire. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be clever. And, oh, what's this? Just things on the floor. It looks like parts of a credit card or something. We have EXP to spend. Seven of it, as a matter of fact. And I really want to upgrade my hacking, because I feel that's gonna be... Oh... I should totally wait one EXP, just because it upgrades my defense also, and that's going to save me a lot of... Well, that was weird. It's going to save me a lot if I upgrade that versus just my hacking skill, so I'm definitely going to do that. So I'm going to get one more EXP from, well, somewhere. I don't really know where. We'll figure it out. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. I'll figure that up. Oh, that man has a weird stick man walk for a moment. I need to go this way, because we're going back to the cab. And I'm not going to... Uh, and I, I thought about this. I'm not going to drink um, Heather's blood, because that's kind of my blood, and the, partially my blood, and that's weird. I, I don't... I don't... I feel uncomfortable about that, like, to be completely blunt. I feel uncomfortable about that. I don't know if it's a taboo for, like, going some way. Uh, yes, actually. Aha! There we go. Thank you, game. I never would have guessed what a fledgling was. I was only one of them, and you told me last time. Oh, hey, Nines. You. What are you doing here? Um... I'm ask you the same thing, dude. Actually, you know what? No. It wasn't it. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. Uh, what's inside? Okay. Bye, nines. Hmm. Well, I don't like the music here. Feel another scary bit coming. I don't like this. Oh god, the paving stone. I was caught on a paving stone. Hmm. Hmm. Hello? Hello, Malkavian. You okay? You okay? Good. You have... Oh, hello. Hello? You have a stake. Ow. Or a knife, rather. Ow. What the shit? Okay. Yes, what's my quest log? This one doesn't feel quite right. Yeah, no freaking kidding. What the shit? It's a combat zone. So I think I'm allowed to do this because it's a combat zone, right? Thankfully, they're all shit. Ow. Okay, you have aggravated damage. You get to die. She caused more, but he has aggravated, so... I'll, I'll fix her damage. I'm not going to fix his damage as easily. Okay. I hesitate to go under this. Never mind, it's K. Can I hack this? No. <laughs> Can I hack it? It's a door. The hell, Rain. <laughs> mm. Enjoying playing with your light? Perception at once shapes the mind's rules over time. Time, however, occurs when perception is what's from the made. Oh, that's not the right button. Cool. Hey, dude. Stop. Okay.
Oh, okay, it's one of these puzzles. No, oh, well, there you go, then. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that man's just gonna glitch all over the place. That was an incredibly easy puzzle. Like, I've seen that one before with a lot of things. And what's in here? Oh, okay. But I got my EXP, so let's upgrade that. Because that's a good stat to have, I feel. Can't go up here, though. So... I actually want to regenerate this aggregate damage. That's what I really want to do. But that's cool. I uh, got out of here. That's still locked. Let's actually... Yeah, back into first person. We don't need to be in the third person for this. Not sneaking anywhere. It is quite peculiar, the happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular, of unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopindalism, and the rest of the old god has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. No, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. In time, too, may your star fade and disappear. What the shit was that? That was, like, really well-educated and stuff. What the actual hell? Is, it, is how this guy is insane, like, mean that he's, like, not actually insane? Is that how he's insane? Cause I feel that's how he's insane. Hello, ma'am. Goodbye, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Ow. I have a higher defensive feat now. Ow. Do I take more damage from the back or something? That's actually a really cool mechanic for something like this. Up. Oh, ow. You and your aggravated damage. Cock face. Kill you. Okay, you're killed. Good. Sheesh. Ah. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting stair set. I feel as if I'm in Wonderland in here. It's not a good feeling. I feel I may be driven into madness soon. Possibly. Yep. Well, there's that. The question is, where the hell is that? Up oh, there it is. So are these people here, like, are they... Ow! You you and your aggravated damage, you cock. I hate you. Ow. Okay, bondage dudes have aggravated damage. We need to kill them first. Okay. I feel like... I feel like I don't really belong here. Like, at all. It's not like I'm too creeped out to do this. It's not that creepy. It's just weird. Often, I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious after the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming pen. What I would give for just one interview, a few simple questions of the plague-ridden woman who met her end that dawn. Of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, mewling wretches. Few could be called enthusiastic. 
Given the nature of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor from all, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. Animals. The one called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about at night. He must have made an atrocious mess in there. <laughs> yep, this guy's insane. Alright. <laughs> Never mind, he is Malkavian, and that's where I came from. Oh, trust you. Maybe I should trust that. I'm stuck on him. Well, I'm stuck on him now. Like, seriously, I can't do anything. I'm stuck on this man. Eh. Like, I can't do anything. I'm stuck on this man. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna... Actually, I can just reload here. Um, ugh, that's forever ago, though. Oh, man. Um, alright, I guess I'll just have to make a cut and come back here later. So, one moment, everybody. And we're back. Nothing much changed. I listened to all the recordings again, and there's this one that I haven't listened to. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui my wife's illness and we? My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty of existence. Well, sounds like your mind is breaking, sir. Fairly standard for a Malkavian, I'm going to understand. Act, spiral staircase of doom. Why? I'm actually going anywhere. Oh, yeah, I am going somewhere. Okay, good. Door. Don't be like the door in the last set door. I don't have doors. I like how this one really isn't based off any, like, kind of skill, like, in-game skill level. All the solutions, kind of, can be done by anybody if you just think. I like that. <laughs> Well, the puzzle so far has been, well, the one puzzle has been like that, and I appreciate it. Mm. We'll just play in third person for a little while, since there's going to be combat. Can't hit her when she's moving around, Rain. Oh, hello, Mr. Aggravated Damage. How are you today? You can go ahead and eat shit. As can your little friend. She can also eat shit. Now look you. I've been civil up to this point. I haven't been civil at all, actually. I've been rather murderous. Can I go in here? No. Alright. This is fucking first person. Hello, torso. Are you a physics torso? No, you're not. That makes me sad. I was hoping it was a physics torso, but it's not. I can go in here, though. Oh, that's where that goes. Okay, cool. Shortcut. Alrighty. So it looks like this way may be the way that I have to go. It is not. It is not the way that I have to go. What about this way? This way leads me into another hall. Oh, hello, ladies. <laughs> Oh, we none of us have a reflection, so... Clearly, we're all vampires. Good. That's... strange. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means my lure. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoffish sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed vampirism, which apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of lycanthropy. 
Through numerous official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a Turk balk for its strictures. Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the king's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office in their government, a rather high office by the sound of things, I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. Hmm. Yeah, he isn't much like a Malkavian, is he? But I've seen this trick before. It's not actually a mirror, it's two rooms that look identical. Excuse me, ladies, you were dead on that side of the mirror, and it's time to die on this side. Uh, ow! You actually made me jump, sir. You can go ahead and die. Good, you are at... Oh, that's the wrong button. There's the button. Who's got the button? I have the button. That's who has the button. Rain always has the button. All right. Anyway, yeah, this guy's really not a typical uh, Malkavian, is he? He's very intelligent, very verbose, very good at things. For a... oh, hello. Ah, good, a shortcut. That is just what I need. Hello. I have accepted the role of Primogen for Clan Malkavian. The dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of vampirism I suffer, so named for some supposed vampire father figure of old. More poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems interminably drawn to children's tales and the fiction of Victorian romance when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter, for I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. Their intelligence is not the question, oh, indeed. As they courted me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand-tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempters. Even so, I could not help but notice the dressing of language these vampire leaders chose for their siren song. Whether it is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the provenance of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society of darkest night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it too. <laughs> Even he knows they're full of bullshit. Alright, that's what I got out of that. Yes, even he is aware they are full of shit. Now, where am I to go from here? I feel there's a place to go. It's these. Is it these? Why, by Jove, it is these. Hmm. No? Damn. Okay. So. This one. Oh. <laughs> okay, this one solves the puzzle. Good. I'm glad that I've figured this out. <laughs> I totally don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just trying shit, and it's it's happening to work. Oh, good. That didn't hit me with fall damage. I would be less than impressed. Ah, now's when we're getting into the dark place. Good. Good. Behold my science room. It's full of science. That didn't turn off the science. But it turned off this one part of science. Hmm. Perhaps I shall make a save here. Behold... Oh, behold my... Science machine. Good. That'll make sense. I'll know what that's about. Okay, it looks like I have to go through where there isn't deadly science beams everywhere. 
What are you? Don't know what that is. Well, I got a frenzy check modifier thing. That's cool. All right. It looks like I'm safe just to go this way. Good. I'm safe to go over here to flick this switch of the science machine. Which doesn't seem to have done anything. Hmm. Aha! I have figured out your secret, science machine. That is to not do that. Was I? No, it's not to do that. Should everything be open? I think that's the case. So that means you are the one I haven't. Good! Ha <laughs> ha! I have solved your science machine. What's that thingy I picked up? Ferocious predatory beast! He's known as one less of those in the world. Huh. Cool! My frenzy chance decreased. Ah, and a door opened. Don't know. Oh, that's that's back in the main room. Okay, okay, I know where that is. And I unlocked his inner sanctum. That's cool. Oh, okay, okay, I know where I am. I don't, I don't know where I am. Okay, that's the library, so that's through. Back one of these doors at the entrance. Yes, 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 I remember where I am. I remember. I've unlocked that door. I believe, at least. Which leads me into his inner sanctum, which can only be a good thing. Oh, now here's a puzzle. Should I leave this for next set, or should I continue onward? Hmm. Um, hmm. Well, let's save it for next time. So, hope you guys had fun, and I'll see you tomorrow with more Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines Blind. So until then, until then, hope you guys had fun, and I'll see you tomorrow. Rain K, out.